Hi, my name is Nicholas DiOrio. Before we get started today, I'm going to be clear and concise about what this video will prove. Today, you're going to see undeniable evidence that Mama Max is a complete and total fraud. He is a content creator who claims his platform exists to empower abuse survivors. And the reality is, Mama Max is a liar. His actions in the past and present paint a far more sinister picture. Right off the bat, this video does contain clips of the leaked recording between myself, Mama Max, and Mudahar of Some Ordinary Gamers. If Max has an issue with how he is portrayed in this video, I consent to the full call being released. I am not afraid. In the event where Max tries to bully me with threats of getting my channel banned, this video removed, or anything else through use of YouTube contacts, which he has done to content creators who have exposed him recently, I will not hesitate to drop our full uncut recording for the entire internet to see. I will not be silenced, and you will get everything that's coming to you. Max is supposed to be the one bringing the story across to everyone. And yes, if in the case that everything is, is actually- job? Why is it my job? job? Yeah, why are you putting it all on me? Like, because it's your case! <laughs> one bringing it, why are you- Absolutely, I am the first one. Okay, a few months ago, the YouTuber named Mama Max asked me to react to his content and promote the massive investigation he was about to release. Max Stryker claimed to be exposing a depraved individual who used social media to lure society's most vulnerable into compromising situations. Cameron Gerard Davis has been accused of masquerading as mythical creatures such as werewolves and vampires in the hopes to lure children. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, is what I would have said if Max Max's videos on the subject weren't terrible. Today we're going to be talking about a YouTuber that's been going really wacky wild as of late. This video is going to be on a more serious topic. I'm sure most of you know who a creator by the name of Mama Max is and the controversy currently surrounding them. It was probably me and Nick and that was about it. You, you need to see as this goes further, this guy is serious here. Like, like he, he really believes in his hero. Then you made third video, which was calling out Moist Critical for not covering the story after you uh, DM'd him like a spurg a bunch of times. Yeah, still here. You want me to talk about it a little bit? That rubbed me the wrong way. I spent 12 days not doing anything online in bed, and during that time apparently it changed his whole framing of the video in order to make it like a Trojan horse of cancel critical because he didn't respond to my messages and ghosted me. Imagine Anthony Fantado just watching this like that. You're, you provided evidence that was some girl's testimony and four girls, if not five, came out with their testimony against you. What I'm saying is the burden of proof is on them and they didn't provide any. And it just seems like a dramatized, embellished story. And then this person's talking about it and just saying insane things. Look at, dude, look at the, the hand movements. He thinks he's like, actually the Punisher. So pathetic. Max released three videos that provide essentially nothing in the form of evidence. The average person can't follow anything he's released so far, and more time was spent responding to critics than providing actionable proof that content creators could use to condemn Cameron Gerard Davis. In fact, after Max threatened me privately for not reacting to his unwatchable video on my main YouTube channel, I cataloged my 10 hours of research publicly in the form of two live streams and my results were astounding. All right, we're two hours in, in this we're, what if we're two hours in right now? Realistically, we're another hour and a half on top of our four and a half hours in. So we're at like the six hour mark of understanding what's going on here. And I will point out to you, now that we've hit the six hour mark, that I still don't know what Cameron Gerard Davis has done. And spoiler alert, when we hit the eight hour mark or the 10 hour mark, I don't know how far we're gonna go. We're still not gonna know. After 10 grueling hours investigating this vampire werewolf cult, I realized I've learned essentially nothing about about Cameron Gerard Davis, the accused. On March 18th, 2016, Spencer, a girl from Wiley, Texas, mysteriously disappeared, lured by the illusion of joining a supernatural family as a vampire on some random corner of the internet. She actually found herself ensnared in a dangerous cult led by a predator posing as a werewolf god. <sighs> Max Stryker's evidence provides without a shadow of a doubt that this might just be a video of a black man roaring like a wolf with fake vampire teeth in his mouth. Along with this compelling evidence, we also know details about his family, including his mother's name for some reason. This video is for 
I would like to extend my most heartfelt apology that this is how you have to find all of this out. But the fact of the matter is, your son, Camden Gerard Davis, has been victimizing hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of mothers. You started to like direct your chat to tell them to go reach out to the mom and to the brother to find out information about Camden. Is that tr that's true, right? Uh, I guess so. You don't have any proof that they're even involved, right? Uh, correct. Thank you all uh, for joining the stream and participating in this conversation. Well. See you. We'll see you, um, probably never again. And when people asked why his serious allegations were so over-dramatized and hard to understand, this was his answer. What even is this? So, the Mama Max universe was a cautionary tale that takes place in the dystopian future, where child predators have seized global power, exploiting the digital landscape to entrench their rule. Rising from the ashes of a society that failed to protect its most vulnerable, the children emerged. A covert network of vigilantes inspired by the style of Hotline Miami. Once victims, they are now hunters of the monsters who hurt children. They form a structured rebellion, seeking to dismantle the predatory hierarchy. Yeah, um... I'm sure that helped everyone out. Max claims to be advising and protecting the eight known victims out of Cameron's hundreds of potential abuse survivors, and yet we know next to nothing about him or really them. You can hear some spoken word testimony on a separate YouTube channel that was created by Spencer. Who is Spencer, you ask? A survivor who is now living with Mama Max. I offered because it felt like the perfect storm. Like, it felt like... Okay, clearly this is happening for a reason. Um, I figured if I can just document the prime subject of my documentary, then why not just have her live with me? And since she needed a home. Don't worry, he's hoping Spencer will be financially independent soon. That's not to say it's gonna be permanent. I do want to get Spencer to become independent at some point. We're gonna get all our medical stuff done. For basically everything, like you need to learn how to drive, we're gonna do that. But for some reason, the strapping young roommates decided to post a four-hour podcast, unfortunately for the both of them. The biggest takeaway from that podcast is that Max himself is being investigated by the FBI. I literally got a card on my front fence from the FBI. Uh, they didn't even bother contacting you. No. That shows how much more they care about my case than yours. And Spencer potentially admitted to a crime. Did you ever recruit? Yes. So, my particular recruitment style, go on Whisper and post about, if you want to join a family dynamic, hit me up on Kick. There was one time he did have me lure a girl, like, physically. That sounds fucking illegal! <laughs> I lured a girl physically! We got an Uber and went and picked this girl up from, like, 30 minutes away from us, and she was, like, 13 or 14. And he kept trying to convince me to convince her to have sex with him, and I was like, no. Thankfully, her parents got her the next day. What the fuck? Where me and Kayla are pretty sure Listen, that Max. he went over there and he her after I was with my foster parents. When your victim is going to talk about something where they're potentially implicating themselves in a crime, I mean, I don't know what age they were at the time, but regardless, like, you should absolutely be seeking legal advice before you even think about bringing this up. Why this was uploaded at all, I will not understand. If anything, they're creating a defamation case for the man they hope to put in prison. Mama Max has chose to make a schizophrenic ARG adventure instead of a detailed allegation video with supporting evidence so he can help protect and support women who put their trust in him. Honestly, you do understand, if you go to court, they can pull these live streams for court. You do know that, right? We are not going to court, Zyla. So what are you doing? Just hunting them down like a deer? Is that what we're doing? Have you not been listening this stream? So when we reached out to the lawyer, he told us it would not be beneficial to pursue a case against Camden Gerard Davis because he likely does not have substantial assets. So he recommended that we all go in person. So mm. you plan, okay, so you are, so you do plan to go to the police, right? Of course. If you go to police, and say they say, okay, yay, we're going to go get him or whatever, I don't know, live in a dreamland, whatever you want to feel. Are you going to court after that? I'm unsure about the entire process. I think that's the job of the district attorney, but y'all would likely, the survivors would likely appear as witnesses. What bothers me is your answer right there. You've been doing this for five years and you don't know how the process goes? 
How I've many never people have you actually caught? I've never been to court. Mama Max claims to have hunted predators for years, but it is more than evident that he has no idea what he's doing, and now his past has begun to come under fire. Well, well, well I guess the question is like, the, the next getting at is like, okay, so you want to enact this change. What do you hope is the eventual result of your video? Okay. Of all this. So I know there's people out there saying I'm doing it to self-serve. I just want my video back up. I don't give a shit if my video comes back up. It did what it needed to do. The best that was in the video is per currently in police custody. It was, was that as a result of your video or was yes. that prior to the video? Yes, it was because okay. of the video. Right. I want, so I'm so sick of having predators that run away like Pablo Sonny and we, we don't get them. I am investing all of me into you and the Survivor Spencer because Mama Max claims he needs help from all of these YouTubers, from, checks notes, Joe Rogan to Anthony Fantano, yet he refuses to accept any form of criticism with a subject matter that matters, and participants who deserve better. Look, I want to see this asshole fucking, if he, if what you're saying is 100% true, I want to see this motherfucker behind bars, but there, there's a long, there, there's a way to present this, there's a way to handle this before you get to that point, right? And that's what we need to be focusing on, that's like where everything needs to be centered on it is where I'm at and that's all I really can say about the situation. I would have really appreciated this like two months ago when we first reached out. Uh, I reached out to you and multiple other creators asking for help mm -hmm. and none of you were responsive. I understand y'all are busy and doing your own things but this is this is the first time I've ever handled the case of this complexity and magnitude and that is why mm -hmm. I was asking for help. To those of you who are saying I was putting the blame on Muda, I am not but I, I do acknowledge that I need help with this case. Um, that was my point, and um... The first thing we definitely need to discuss is Max's failures in his current ongoing investigation. And these are failures, by the way. The vast majority of help that Max has been able to provide with his deep skill set and large platform is a botched social media campaign called Hashtag We Are Real. The reason I cite this as a failure is simple. Nobody knows anything about the cult that Max claims to be exposing. In fact, I've referred to Camden Gerard Davis as Cameron throughout the previous 10 minutes of this video, and I guarantee that most people outside of content creators who've covered this story didn't even realize that. As we've touched on previously, Mama Max has moved in with one of the many girls that he's currently assisting, but records show that doesn't always seem to have been the plan. I want to actually answer some questions about like why we're doing donations through uh, my Patreon rather than a GoFundMe. That is because I'm contractually obligated to see this case through and make sure Spencer is taken care of. Spencer is moving over to me and in, uh, a couple of days actually and we're gonna yeah. find her her own place and I will be paying for all of it. Not sure what he meant by contractually obligated but it sounds to me like Max was planning on getting Spencer a place of her own but at least right now they live together. I guess you just can't fake the step survivor atmosphere. But since money was mentioned just to be clear in exchange for this person's testimony Spencer is receiving housing, income from Max's YouTube and Patreon and also receiving the clout incentive from Max promoting her YouTube YouTube channel and placing integral parts of the investigation exclusively over there. This information does not, however, mean that Spencer is lying. What it does showcase is how unethical Max's investigations have been since day one. If Max sweetening the pot isn't enough for you to get outraged over, I certainly wasn't expecting to find out last week on the Mama Max livestream that before all of this, Spencer was Max's close family friend. Spencer has known my family her whole life. Oh no. She was in the same kindergarten class as my sister yeah. i don't think y'all understand like the relationship here like my my aunt literally knows his mom yeah like we we were friends before we were like actually on a case like yeah. oh no so just to rip the band-aid off this is not some stranger that max is helping out out of the kindness of his heart this is a family friend who's getting a shiny new youtube channel some pocket cash to start and a place to sleep and for those reasons alone we could and probably should stop here max is not fit to take this case on for spencer but it's not just about spencer even though it kind of seems that way 23 days after max launched the hashtag we are real campaign another survivor named kai from what is alleged to be her only fans facebook page was begging for twenty dollars this twenty dollars would of course be used for wipes 
diapers, and eggs for her two-year-old child. There are now legitimate concerns to raise about how the funds are being distributed to the survivors. And Max, I want to see a paper trail. To support this effort, all donations received in October via our Patreon will be allocated for this legal process. All additional funding will be used to film this story. So just to be clear, guys, the money is going to make more of these amazing videos and not to little kids who need diapers. Where's the donations going towards? Not that I doubt it won't be going to a good cause for survivors. It's going to the legal case. Spencer is handling all the money. Oh, no. Uh, I am sending it to her. She is the financial manager of the uh, of the legal case. Oh, no. Why is one of the victims in charge of all of the money? Why are you not in charge of all of the money? Ethical complaints and money trails aside, I've already told you Max's videos on Camden are hard to follow. I've showed you an example of how Max responds to criticism as well. Now let's take a closer look at the actual content made for this investigation. Max has released a total of three main channel videos on the subject matter of the hashtag we are real campaign. The first of which is titled brainwash your favorite influencer trigger warning. Welcome to your programming. Kindly send this video to your favorite influencer. About a third of this 10 minute video is a criticism of cult psychology and not even the actual issue. Only a few minutes of the video is dedicated to both Camden and Spencer and one full minute of the video is Max begging for shout outs from large YouTubers and social media icons. The second video is longer, 25 minutes and it's predominantly a response by Max to his critics. Your profile picture already speaks volumes about where you're coming from. In it, Max complains about the first video bombing, and he bitches about the creators who won't drop everything at a moment's notice and cover the all of zero evidence he's distributed thus far for the Camden cult. We proactively reached out to many different reaction channels, hoping to pique their interest in engaging with a topic of such grave importance. Yet the very purpose of the video falls short when these creators stop responding and choose not to engage. Only a handful out of the tons we reached out to gave any type of feedback whatsoever. Fun little side note, this is actually around the time that Max reached out to me and sent a psychotically worded threat for not covering the story up until this point. Your silence will not be unnoticed. Well, have that end up working out for you, motherfucker. At the 21 minute mark, Max throws Spencer on screen to defend him from criticism. This video feels very exploitative itself. Your feelings about the video without explaining further are noted. Here's a message from the survivor herself. Oh no. Hey everyone, um, I'm Spencer. I am here to talk today about some of the reactions towards the trailer. What I do not appreciate is people being offended on my behalf. This is the first example of a pattern of behavior exhibited where Max hides behind Spencer to shield himself from criticism. Please note this now, because we will be coming back to it later. Finally, the video ends off with Max retreading a similar story of the allegations against Camden from the video I showed you earlier and in this video. Hello, friends, it's me. Oh, who the heck are you clicking on my video? Well, let me be the first to welcome you to my channel. Now, number three is a weird one. I've gone back and forth on this, but I think I've settled on it being the worst of both worlds and a Frankenstein version of the previous two videos. It's another 20 minutes of weird, edgy cult psychology stuff that really makes Max sound like he read a book and a few Wikipedia pages and now thinks he's an expert. This one contains even less about the actual investigation and notably clickbaited Charlie hard. Like a predator hunter clickbaiting Moist Critical is fucking crazy. Yeah, still here. You want me to talk about it a little bit? That rubbed me the wrong way. We talked like a month ago about like what he was working on in his investigation. And then apparently when I had COVID, he messaged me a couple times and I never saw it. And now he's taken that as me ghosting him and ignoring his very important mission. I had COVID. I, and I barely used Discord in the first place. It was a miracle I ever, I ever even saw his message to begin with. And during that time, apparently it changed his whole framing of the video in order to make it like a Trojan horse of cancel critical because he didn't respond to my messages and ghosted me. And for what? To just keep crying that nobody gives your case a free clout transaction? In response to the criticism he got, Max ended up changing the clickbait to Sniper Wolf instead, which I guess is better for some reason because, um, well, she's liked less. 
I guess it's a little better because he doesn't just imply she's a predator like he did with Charlie. It's still weird in my personal opinion though. Alongside those three videos, we also have the four hour podcast that I previously mentioned and it contains entirely spoken word testimony and currently lives exclusively on Spencer's personal YouTube channel. This is the most information we've gotten about Camden's supposed actions thus far and it contains nothing actionable that a content creator can use as a foundation for a video. Finally, there were the main channel live streams and these are by far the worst of the bunch. Much of the same spoken word testimony exists here. Much of the same poor response to criticism exists here. It's also much of the same in terms of complaining about YouTubers not signal boosting him. But the variable here is that he brings in all of Camden's victims and makes them watch as he debates random people. I just want to start off with, uh, with this. Uh, as you can tell, I'm very autistic and I just want to let you guys know that if I slip up and say the R word, I have the pass. So just just so we're all clear on that. All right. all right. I'm sure this was the productive discussion these survivors envisioned when you told us they wanted to be on the live stream. I'm sure it's what they needed to prove their legitimacy. The constant deflection and usage of survivors as meat shields is also a much more predominant issue on these live streams. There's there's a long there's a way to present this, there's a way to handle this before you get to that point, right? And that's what we need to be focusing on. That's like where everything needs to be centered on is where I'm at. And that's all I really can say about the situation. But but Max, me and Nux told you about this weeks ago, almost a month at this point, exactly what I just said right now. Right. And I am working at the, sur uh, my platform is for the survivors. And if they want to stream, that is what we're going to do. We're going to stream. The nature of live content is inherently volatile. Everyone knows this. At any moment, you could say something stupid, and now it exists online in some capacity forever. I imagine you're now wondering why anyone in Max's position would want to take civilian abuse survivors and subject them to such scrutiny. I mean, they're building a case to get Camden prosecuted, right? Well, actually, as of late November, an entire month after the hashtag WeAreReal campaign started, it sounded like we were gearing up for a civil case or at the very least no one was interested in getting police involved when's the last time that any of this has been brought to uh, any authorities like the fbi or police uh probably about uh three years ago three years so you guys now that you guys have this and and how long have you guys been sort of talking to mama max or how long have you guys all been talking for like two and a half years well now that you guys are sort of getting a case together don't you think it'd be a better idea to before the video to give it to the authorities again now that you have you're like all together and you can sort of go as a collective to the uh police i mean we could have done that but at the same time with the the track record that we've already seen it just didn't really seem realistic without having more of us survivors to do this. Yes, I th feel the urgency of the matter requires all of us to start bringing the survivors together. I don't want to wait for the bureaucracy of, of law enforcement to take their time when it's already been seven years um, with multiple um, reports. Like, that's ridiculous. And uh, that's also why we're taking them to court as well, because this is um, this is absurd. Yeah, you heard that right. At the time of this stream, they had been working on this case for years and didn't think it was worth looping in authorities in any capacity. The last time cops even saw the Spencer case was well before she looped in Mama Max. While by all accounts, this clip is absolutely unhinged, it is worth noting that Max said the exact opposite in his most recent live stream. In fact, I've already played you this clip. So when we reached out to the lawyer, he told us it would not be beneficial to pursue a case against Camden Gerard Davis because he likely does not have substantial assets. So he recommended that we all go in person to report him to the police station that is in his jurisdiction. Well, now that you guys are sort of getting a case together, don't you think it'd be a better idea to, before the video to give it to the authorities again now that you have, you're like all together and you can sort of go as a collective to the... Uh, police. So he recommended that we all go in person to report him to the police station that is in his jurisdiction. This means that after all the videos, streams, and podcasts were filmed, uploaded, and reacted to, Max finally went to a lawyer who basically told him his entire plan for these women completely sucked, and now he's dramatically changing course in real time. Once again, Max is unfit to be spearheading a case of this size. I designed this trailer as a catalyst for meaningful discussions 
laced with hidden layers and nuanced elements to encourage in-depth analysis. These secrets are breadcrumbs that guide viewers toward a deeper understanding of the sh Can somebody just show us what he did? Since this situation was so poorly handled, there are still things I'm leaving out just to make the video watchable. But like, why would he change his channel name to God Cult? I'm sorry, I didn't mention that. After consulting with multiple experts in cult psychology, it became clear to me that many influencers employ cult-like techniques to build and retain their audiences. For this reason, I chose to brand the channel as God Cult. Like for his big investigation, he made all of the video metadata unrelated to the subject matter, and he's begging us to take him seriously? Because all that accomplished was making sure his main subscriber base didn't see his big video. In reality, most people probably thought they were subscribed to a YouTuber who was hacked, and this misstep was not just a direct contributing factor, it is the reason in his video bomb. Instead of realizing this and course correcting, the narcissistic man-child in charge blamed literally everyone else in this situation while acting like he's God's gift to abuse survivors in the same breath. I had hoped that influencers, especially those who've interacted with my content before, would step up. Unfortunately, it seems that self-preservation outweighs child welfare for most influencers. For someone who claims to be so righteous and humbly asking busy YouTubers for support, imagine my shock when Muda and I sat down with Max only to be berated by both him and Spencer for not doing more. Yeah, why are you putting it all on me? Like, because it's your you're case! You're the one bringing it. Why are you talking Absolutely. I am the first one. Yeah. You, you are the, the, only the only one. one. You haven't I'm convinced doing... anyone to come on board you yet. You haven't convinced... Exactly. That's you haven't because made you any... haven't been listening to them. That's because you haven't been giving anybody anything to work with. This for months. Yeah, and why I've had a Muta, why call, and I'm not moving anywhere close to the situation. Muta, why can't it. why can't you take initiative to talk to other survivors? Well, I'm talking to you right now more than anybody else. And mind you, this is after Max broke Mudahar's trust by using Mudahar viewing evidence privately and signing an NDA so he can't discuss what he saw as like a clout transaction so the audience will believe the evidence exists. We have evidence in a Discord server. With other influencers as well. Yes, you can ask Mudahar if he's seen some of the evidence. This is like beyond messed up. Here's a prime example of Max using Spencer as a human shield. Well, I'm asking why why you did not directly contact me, but contact us only in public streams. Let's see, I contacted you uh, uh, November 27th. You, Max, I've seen your latest video. I've caught up with this whole situation. I have texted you. What it felt like seeing him on streams. You went on with Tommy and Lyrics and are sitting there talking to them when you literally haven't spoken to the other survivors. Hold on, can you put Max on for a second? I'm right here. That was sneaky as dude oh i'm coming after you mudahar stand back stand back spencer can you tell him what you felt you are literally just a little snake hiding behind her dude that's disgusting can you listen to me can you listen to me max is upset that muda is going against him and flinging spencer at him like a rag doll since you already know about the leaked recordings you should also probably know about the nature of max's evidence and how max has come to his conclusions that he's expressed about camden gerard davis well i addressed him as a cult leader and sexual predator because that's how he has been described by the survivors and even testimonials themselves serve as evidence in a court of law so to me that is is all of the evidence I need to say this man is a sexual predator and cult leader. So you're saying and the allegation in and of itself testimony. is the evidence? I'm sorry? So you're saying the allegation in and of itself is the evidence? It was everything. It was the evidence that was already there. It was the amount of them. It was the consistency of their testimonials. And it was... Um... I mean, but like, you, see, you see like the you see the fallacy in that? Like imagine if I said, Max, you're a rapist. And somebody, Nick, was to say, oh, well, that's a statement of fact because... Muda made this statement and that- You don't have to say Muda made this statement, statement. say five yeah. girls said it. Yeah. Because that's what happened. Well, <laughs> five girls said it. Well, yes, about you. After, yeah. yes, after they were in a group chat together for three months after changing their allegations- Wait, I'm sorry. Times. What group chat are you in? The evidence server with all of the girls? There is evidence in there. It's not just them plotting to take down but Camden. there was evidence in the other one too right yeah, you did go on her facebook and post either. the self-harm stuff you you did like 
all those social media messages and stuff like that, that was you, right? Be it not the most important part of the story, clearly, but like, it's not like they just lied about you. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? You were like at the social media part where you put like the self-harm video on Haley's thing. That was real, correct? Oh yes, that was real. Oh man, allegations or evidence. Our professional P word hunter has gone to the same law school as Flamenco. Yes, your ears do not deceive you. A man who himself has been accused of abuse by five of his former friends and exes. Max believes that spoken word testimony is more than enough to make the claim claims he's made here. This justification has been used to dox Camden's mother and swing his audience of rabid abuse survivors in her direction. According to Spencer, Camden's mother had absolutely no knowledge of Spencer living in her home for the entirety of the four months she was there. According to Spencer, Camden does not even live with his mother currently. There is no acceptable excuse why Camden's family was doxed and maliciously targeted by Mama Max. While discussing this case, there have also been real concerns at who Max refers to each time he talks about lawyers. Okay, so look at what I just sent you. Yeah, you sent me a chat GPT prompt, not a fucking legal definition. Do you, I mean, we can argue legal semantics all we want. No, we are not, not lawyers. Legal semantics. We have to look at exact definition, Max. You're going in with evidence that can't be 100% corroborated. You're going in with allegations as an evidence. Courts Why are we talking to your lawyer, chat GPT, right now? Like, yeah, what the fuck? What is going on? You you know if I make a video on this, this is what I have to work with. How do you honestly <laughs> think I can take your side? Logically, if you were, if tomorrow I was like, oh, where's Max getting his legal definitions? Oh, ChatGPT. We'll ChatGPT understands the legal system. While I fully believe that Mama Max is speaking to legitimate lawyers in some capacity, sending us something like this to explain his position is absolutely absurd, and I find it funny that he wants us to take him seriously. Quite possibly the biggest bombshell in regard to the Camden case, and no, shockingly it wasn't the allegations or evidence thing, is that Mama Max hasn't even seen all of his own evidence yet. Holy you God. are putting I'm words in my mouth. That. I'm not putting words in your mouth. That's what you said. You said you only verified Spencer's evidence. You didn't even properly analyze or timeline the evidence of the other victims. That's not okay. putting words into your mouth. That's literally okay. repeating. Can you allow me to clarify them? Sure, clarify this, please. I am in the server where they are posting evidence. Not all of them have walked me through what the evidence is as to what the context is. Okay, so you can't verify the evidence then. What does that mean I can't verify it? You can't verify if what they're posting is legitimate. It means that there's a much content. larger issue here. Are Not only do we have no idea what's going on, it seems you like don't. You, you don't know what's going on. I do know what's going on. I don't know the complete story. You're the complete story. You, oh That's your God. job, just to get the complete story out there. You understand how crazy this sounds? That is what we are working on. Why did they come to you? I don't understand. You clearly have never done anything like this before. And that is why I've been asking for help, Nick. Why the hell did you make a statement of fact calling somebody a pedophile when you couldn't even properly walk? Are we going to keep arguing this? Yes! Yeah, we are. We have to keep arguing it because you clearly don't understand the ramifications of what okay. you're doing to this case. Because you're setting it up for the it's guy who potentially, like, did and abused tons of women to f take the money you've given these victims you know in court gonna, in a yeah. civil case. I'm going to tell you right now, I actually believe the victims. I think that there is some malfeasance involved, but how you've handled this case and how you've been doing this call so far, you know who's you know who has a grounds to to you? You know who has some credibility to win now? It's Camden. Not only is you this guy not going to go in jail, you can end up paying him, bro. You get money. Sir, you want to read what you read to me earlier? Yeah, this case is a shit show. It feels like every single answer creates 10 more questions, but what I refer to as an unacceptable negligent failure on the part of Mama Max, some others might try to dismiss as mistakes or being in over his head. So we're gonna have to go deeper, which is fine for me because these things are usually four to six feet deep anyways. Corpse. I know you have nothing to do with this, but with all of your power, influence, and the favor you owe me, I just couldn't help myself. Remember when you reached out after years of not speaking to me while I was at the hospital tending to my sick girlfriend, and you kept trying to rush me home to do you a huge favor? So, how about you do me the favor this time and talk about something besides yourself for once. It will give you a good look. 
I legitimately have no idea why people are surprised. This guy literally does this every single year. He does weird shit like this every single year. This was another video about predators. Max clout begging is not something new for this case. In reality, Max has been doing this for years in his stupid fake voice. In fact, a lot of the creators he had on board jumped ship after the hashtag pick aside YouTube fiasco just last year. Susan Wojcicki, stop fucking lying to us every time you have to give a statement. Either do something good for this site once in your fruitless life or step the fuck down. Dude, I think that's why she quit. Wait, you got him. You gonna talk about the YouTube controversy? Is it the whole pick a side thing? I said this about the last thing he, he did. I think that's the absolute worst way of going about anything ever. Look, Max being a cringy clout demon is already common knowledge for most and not really worth investigating further for this video. I just wanted to point this out for newcomers. The real tea on Max's history is related to his previous investigations. Since Max is representing at least eight survivors currently, how many predators has Max put away in the past? Is there any proof or evidence that Mama Max has not just got anyone charged or prosecuted. Is there anyone, is there any proof that he's even got anyone arrested that we can see? Well, two years ago we spoke and he claimed a man by the name of Pablo Sonny was arrested. I don't give a shit if my video comes back up. It did what it needed to do. The rapist that was in the video is currently in police custody. Was, was that as a result of your video or was yes. that prior to the video? Yes, it was because okay. of the video. I don't know if the police asked him to come back or he went on his own volition or they forced him to come back. I don't know any of those details. I just know he went back to Canada and was in police custody for a certain amount of time. That's all well and good, but Max has been doing this for five years and one single arrest is not really substantial. We also don't really know what happened to that guy. Hardly a success story, wouldn't you say? The main takeaway that I want people to understand is that we don't know how many predators Max has even caught. Look, people can test this, but unfortunately, we just don't know. We don't have proof of how many predators Max has caught. Do you think that Mama Max has any arrests? Like, do you think he's ever actually gotten a predator arrested? I have no idea. Obviously, you're gonna say no, right? You were <coughs> in one of his videos, right? Like, they, he had you in a video. Yeah. Had you ever, like, watched his content before you agreed to that? Um, a little bit, but it was pretty hard for me to get through, honestly. In one of Max's Predator Expose videos, the Discord Max infiltrates, quote unquote, isn't real. He created it with footage to retell his story. Which basically forced my hand into joining these closed off communities where they can easily get to me. So basically, he says he's in this roly polies Nanakarobi Yoki. But this is his server that he set up. He's the admin or mod for this server because you can see he's got the cog icon. Go to your Discord that you're the. If, if you go to a Discord, you see you won't have that if you're not an admin or moderator. But that means that you, that's your server. You're the admin. You've set that up. And the thing is, what people would argue is like, oh, well, but you know, he's doing that because he's doing it for the sake of the video. And it's like, okay, well, where's the evidence that he did this thing that he's claiming that he did, joining this server and putting it, you know, he's out here claiming that he's putting himself in danger. So now it's just up in the air at how much of Max's predator allegations are actually real. Sure, this detail is largely inconsequential to the story and may appear to just be me reaching. I like to call it laying the groundwork, but nevertheless, we don't know how much of Max's content he's willing to fake. We just don't know. But the last one is the real damning thing here. A long Reddit post went up that piqued my interest recently. Calm down, H-bomber guy. I'm gonna credit the dude. Maximum platypus was 69 raised a lot of interesting questions about multiple Mama Max previous videos. Remember, if you think we're reaching, this guy hunts predators. There should not be this many questions about things he might have faked in the video. But the one that stood out to me was Max's video on IMVU. I find the agonizing screams of hundreds of my children pleading for justice after their abuse on IMVU. I hear you. If you don't know, IMVU is a 3D avatar social networking application. In this video, Max claimed a user named Casey was exploited by Pablo Sonny. Yes, if you've been paying attention, Pablo Sonny is also coincidentally the only predator that Max was able to get arrested. He claimed it was because of this video. The Reddit poster takes issue with a story of a victim named Casey, whose only friend on IMVU was Pablo. Max claims to have reverse image searched Casey's Naruto profile pic to a YouTube channel. On 
this YouTube channel, Max claims he miraculously got access to Casey's unlisted videos she posted. I don't think I have to tell you this, but that's really convenient. And I'm going to tell you anyway, we are currently approaching Dream's Minecraft world record ender pearl luck on this predator investigation. But don't worry, there's more. On her account, there was a video titled, This is where you raped and killed me, that showcased a bloody white sheet in the woods. Maximum Platypus 69 correctly pointed out that the vast majority of Max's abuse survivor audience interpreted this as Casey either being deceased or taking her own life. Following the unlisted videos release. Max would respond later in a Q&A and it was really awkward. Is there an update on Casey? Can you talk about how you got into the account or how you found it? Um, that, yeah, that's that's a bit much. I can't talk too much about Casey. I, uh, I don't know what I can and can't say. I will tell you that, yes, she's okay. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, thank God. I didn't even know that. Holy shit. That's something I wanted to actually jump in VC with you about at some point. Yes. But thank God. Um, I'm going to stop talking about it. I, there's yeah, a lot I yeah, want to say about it, but I can't. I can't fucking talk about it. Yeah, we'll respect her privacy too. We'll respect, we'll respect yeah, yeah, exactly. the secrets for now. Thank you, Max, for, for that very relieving update. So apparently, Casey is alive. But many have pointed out that aside from Max's spoken word testimony, if you will, there is no concrete proof that Casey ever existed. Like, at all. Like, at the time of Max's upload, Casey's accounts were deleted. Look, it's one thing to recreate a piece of media to tell a full story of what really happened, and it's another to create an entire human being and plop them down in an active predator investigation because you're a filmmaker. But what was the cost? Everything a teenage girl, known only as the moniker KC157434, takes her own life after being groomed and raped by a man she met on the platform. Is this girl Casey even a real person? He claims in his video that he found her no subscriber YouTube channel through a reverse image search using her profile picture on the game IMVU, where he then hacked this girl's YouTube channel and found an unlisted video called This Is Where You Raped and Killed Me, which is a video that shows assumingly Casey filming the site of her and has bloody sheets and a pillow in the middle of the woods. So if the narratives are fake, you not only lied about her death, but also that she was raped too, and made up this whole Batman ARG fake story that you had hackers behind the scenes get into her YouTube channel and find this secret encrypted unlisted video that she uploaded days before like herself. This is nuts. Take a look at the post. I'll link it down below. While I will say the OP's evidence is fairly compelling, much like the other three allegations I have just levied, there is unfortunately no concrete proof that Max is lying or faking anything. But what if there was? What if this entire segment was just backstory for the biggest nuke that I've ever dropped in my five years on you? Oh wait, I forgot. Leaked call. Oh no. Are you dipping too, Max? Uh, I'm down to keep talking to you if, if you have more questions. Don't be fooled now, you haven't seen anything yet. In fact, any of the three upcoming reveals in isolation would be career ending for really any YouTuber in Max's field. I also think what you're about to see will be fairly shocking to his audience of sexual abuse survivors that he's farmed for cash month after month on Patreon. For that reason, alongside transparency, I will allow the next eight excruciating minutes to play unimpeded, and I will only rejoin you after Max Stryker's reputation has been thoroughly eviscerated. At the one minute mark, your mind will be blown. At the five minute mark, you'll be thinking it can't possibly get any worse. And around two and a half minutes later, you'll realize it can, and it is. Enjoy. So recently, people have been saying that your investigations kind of skew the line between fact and fiction because they're finding things that you've created as context for the video. I think people are pointing to the Discord server that you were an admin of when you were showing it. Uh, the lawsuit mm. that uh, you changed the name or whatever. Okay. How much uh -huh. of what you do is kayfabe and how much of it is legitimately like live? This is the investigation. Here it is. Oh. The investigations themselves are real, but the obviously the films have fictional elements. Um, there's multiple reasons, like for example, the admin thing on the Discord server, I had to recreate it. 
Yeah. That was a recreation because I didn't have the originals. Uh, the IMVU thing, I, I wasn't, <laughs> I don't know why people are saying I'm, I, like it's a film, like it's, I am presenting it as if it were to be real, but I didn't think people would take it as that. Like, but wait, you all hunt I, files. You don't think that people are going to mm -hmm. think your videos are real? So, so that's the thing. So I want everyone, when you watch my video to assume everything is fake, except like when I show a people's face and what they're doing. Like, cause obviously that's all. Right. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, oh sorry, sorry. I, I know I said unimpeded. My bad. My bad. Won't happen again. So I want everyone, when you watch my video, to assume everything is fake, except like when I show a pedo's face and what they're doing. Like, cause obviously that's all real. And that's why we include like Mega Drive links to show like this is the full evidence. This is all real. Um, everything else should be considered fake, whether it's real, not not. Like, if I'm sending viruses to a pedo. Whether that's fake or real, that's on purpose because I don't want people to know if I'm actually sending viruses to pedos because that's implicating myself. Okay. Um, um, so I guess the next logical question from there is just asking because now it's come up saying like, well, you've never been to court. What have you done? What is the most substantial outcome of a predator hunt that you've done? What is the the, the final nail in the coffin? You're like, if you had to go tell somebody, oh, what do you do? What is what does Max Stryker do? What's your proudest moment? Honestly, the the hunting pedos isn't my proudest aspect. The the thing I'm proud of is inspiring those who are who are CSA survivors to fight back. Have, that is my goal. Have you ever gotten someone arrested? Um, if I have, then I don't know it. You went on my podcast to tell me that you've got someone arrested and it was because of your video. Just to be clear, would you like to re-answer that question? I've been emailed stuff like, hey, you got this guy arrested, congratulations. You but went I'm on like, and you said, this guy was arrested, it was because of me, it was because of my video. And you told me that two years ago. It's kind of egotistical of me to say <laughs> that it was my video that did it. I don't know that for sure. But then you said um, recently that he fled to the Philippines. So was was Sonny ever arrested? Pablo Sonny? Did that ever even happen? Uh, yes, he did. All we know is that his last location we picked him up from was Mexico. Um, whether he fled to the Philippines or not, we don't know. We just know he has family there and that's the most likely destination they would go to just cause. But he was in have, like he, so he was arrested. That was. Pablo Sonny. I have no, I don't think so. I think he got away. Dude, what the if fuck? He, yeah. If he was arrested, I have no idea. Why did you tell me he was arrested? You, you said Pablo Sonny was arrested and my video did it. Why did you lie to me on my show? Do you have a clip of that? Yes. It's in something yeah, I've been it. currently editing. Hold. Yeah, send it to me. Okay, give me two seconds. Um, I think there's even a video on YouTube. Actually, can you just jump in the screen share? I'll just pull it over. Because somebody archived it. I, I, yeah. I, I guess I can hear stuff, but I can't Perfect. see anything. That's all you need because the visual is a drawing. This is the two clips contrasting clips of Pablo Sonny. What was, what is your, your primary goal is that then? There's no, what's your other, um... Well, 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 I guess the question is like, the, the next getting at is like, okay, so you want to enact this change. What do you hope is the eventual result of your video? Okay. Of all of this. So I know there's people out there saying I'm doing it to self-serve. I just want my video back up. I don't give a shit if my video comes back up. It did what it needed to do. The rapist that was in the video is per currently in police custody. And it was, was that as a result of your video or was yes. that prior to the video? Yes, it was because okay. of the video. Right. The video was about IMVU and this one predator. I made it about him and him alone. IMVU is a game, right? You yes. played the game and you exposed this guy. Yes. Do you mind walking me through the chain of events that led from your video to him being imprisoned? Yeah, so I dropped the video. The end of the video is a call to action. Usually all my videos are a call to action, like find him. And we did. So in this case, find him meant like you didn't know who he was. You wanted his doc so he could go to jail. We had his, we, all we had was his face and his voice. Right. And out of that, I said, find him. And then within 24 hours, we found him. And then I started social engineering all of his friends to give me his information. And they did. And then we pegged him. He fled to Mexico. 
We found where he was in Mexico. Wow. Um, I don't know if it, if the police, he was from Canada. So I don't know if the police asked him to That's come all back. That's terrible people are. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the police asked him to come back or he went on his own volition or they forced him to come back. I don't know any of those details. I just know he went back to Canada and was in police custody for a certain amount of time. So you lied. Uh, so that was what I was told through Instagram posts when I was in contact with his friends. You didn't remember that until I showed you the clip. You didn't remember that, like, this is your biggest crown achievement that you got a pet arrested. <laughs> uh, I didn't remember the details. No, uh, I just remember he fled to Mexico. The, all the police custody shit. That was only shit I was told. I couldn't verify any of that. Uh, so you just got yeah. on stream and told everybody it was me. I did it. I, I, Mama Max number one. Yeah, that's not cool. Um, you can let people know. I, I think that. Thank you. Um, so that was one of the major points of contention. Last question. This is an ethical question. One of my favorite types of questions. In your previous investigations, what have you done to ensure that the evidence you're passing over to police is sufficient to get you know prosecution? And what precautions do you take to make sure it's usable in a court of law? So with Wayne, Wayne's probably the best one. Um, I mean, we literally had him. <laughs> had him in a voice call like it's like the the mega drive like it it's literally us saying we're 14 years old he's saying yeah i want to see your pussy i want to see like i want to want you to ride me and shit like that to what he thinks is a 14 year old and we verified that by telling him like i don't know i'm young i don't know i'm only 14. um i think that should be sufficient to put him in prison um, but the law says otherwise, I suppose, because as far as I know, he hasn't been imprisoned and people have been taught. I received an email that someone was going to talk to the deputy about why he hasn't been arrested. And I'm also actually going to start uh, interviewing police local to me as to why pedophiles don't get arrested, because I know they all want to arrest them. It's just the law binds them. So you've never actually reason. gotten a pedophile? arrested uh not to my knowledge so your content is just making fun of pedophiles online i suppose like i said my biggest goal is to inspire survivors to fight back and if i can if i can do that then i feel like i've done an adequate job. So as it turns out, it was never a question of conviction. No wonder Max has never been to court before. In his five years of playing dress up predator hunter, Max was never even able to secure so much as an arrest. As it turns out, all you need to be a distinguished predator hunter on YouTube is to farm inadmissible evidence by pretending you're a minor and sexting those predators. In fact, let the record show, we can count at least one time Max has sent pictures of his own ass to perverts online so they can record themselves beating off to it. But we can't count at least one time Max has investigated a predator that has led to an arrest. I could not get his name, his personal social media, and above all else, I could not get his face, at least until I sent him a picture of my ass. Oh shit! Oh, yes, shit. that is my actual ass. So why don't you go to Patreon and support me sending my ass to Patreon? Ruining their pitiful little lives after my ass makes them horny enough to send me a picture of their face that I then publish to all of you. Somebody get this guy's Patreon. We need to fund this operation more. So just to clarify, the vast majority of Max's content is fake. He's flabbergasted that you stupid viewers thought it was real. He's also lied about getting arrests to try to bolster his credibility in the past, and he can't even keep his story straight now. Finally, when asked what he does to make sure his investigations are ethical and could lead to prosecution, Max more or less confirms that he's a content vigilante with no ethical framework for serious stories. I hope now it's become evident why he responds so dramatically to the slightest criticism. Max is a liar. Max is a con artist. And now everyone knows it. Is there a single person that Mama Max can point to that he can claim conclusively was arrested as a result of one of his investigations of reports. Have you ever gotten someone arrested? Um, 
If I have, then I don't know. If you actually watch his other videos, like the one on IMVU, he did. He tried to do the exact same thing. Because it's a scam. He caught it. Because it's a yeah. scam. Tommy, it's did you know that uh that he claims he got one person in jail, but he won't reveal their identity? Yes. Yes. Because it's a scam. Uh, the IMVU thing. I, I wasn't. <laughs> I don't know why people are saying I'm, I like it's a film. Like it's, I am presenting it as if it were to be real, but I didn't think people would take it as that. Like, so I want everyone when you watch my video to assume everything is fake, except like when I show a pedo's face and what they're doing. What bothers me is your answer right there. You've been doing this for five years and you don't know how the process goes. How I've many never people have court. you actually caught? I've never been to court. Oh, well then that, well shit, that makes sense then. There you go, folks. I'm glad you're a vigil, you're a vigilante for views only. You're a vigilante for views only. So you've never There's actually me. gotten a pedophile arrested? Uh, not to my knowledge. So your content is just making fun of pedophiles online? I suppose, like I said, my biggest goal is to inspire survivors. It did what it needed to do. The wimpist that was in the video is per currently in police custody. And it was, was that as a result of your video or was yes. that prior to the video? Yes, it was because okay. of the video. You went on like and you said, this guy was arrested. It was because of me. It was because of my video. It's kind of egotistical of me to say that it was my video that did it. I don't know that for sure. But then you said um, recently that he fled to the Philippines. So was, was Sonny ever arrested? Pablo Sonny? Did that ever even happen? Pablo Sonny? I have no I don't think so. I think he got away. I'm using you to deflect criticism. I am still getting criticism. Bruh. How, how are they shielding? They're not shielding me from anything. I am still getting criticism. People have been playing that card for so long. All you use for survivors to shield from criticism. I have never shielded myself from I only... I almost always just get criticism. Well, I'm asking why you did not directly contact me, but contact us only in public streams. So, you know, actually, I've seen your latest video. I've caught up with this whole situation. I have texted you. What it felt like seeing him on streams. You went on with... Hold on, can you put Max on for a second? I'm right here. That was snaky as f***, dude. Oh, I'm coming after you, Mudahar. Stand back, stand back. Spencer, can you tell him what you felt? You are literally just a little snake because hiding behind her, dude. That's disgusting. You listen to me? The majority of Mama Max's die-hard audience are sexual abuse survivors, and he's currently taking advantage of them. It's the perfect grift, really. Why would you criticize a guy who's going after predators? Why would you put in work to do it right? That doesn't pay well. Just blame the police. I mean, people already hate the police, right? I don't want to wait for the bureaucracy of of law enforcement to take their time when it's already been seven years with multiple um, reports. Like that's ridiculous. And uh, that's also why we're taking them to court as well, because this is, um, this is absurd. Keemstar, remember when you were making out with your first girlfriend and you came right as she touched your leg? It was me. I jerked you off at super speed so it seemed like you nutted at just a woman's touch. There's one more topic on the docket that we need to discuss. I mentioned earlier that Max's exes and former friends have come together to accuse him of abuse. This is not something I feel equipped to discuss at this moment in time, and that would be for a separate video by a separate creator. What I can talk about is the allegation that Max levied against the video's creator, Magnetar, before his real name became known as Anthony Field. Anthony Field. Haley's boyfriend, Magnetar on YouTube, the one who published this video on me. Anthony has essentially had his life ruined by Mama Max. The call out led to his job getting bombarded and the emails received were disgusting. It's one thing to be falsely accused by some loser online like I'm Alex and it's another thing for a respected predator hunter to make claims he is completely unable to prove against you. The allegations levied by Max are completely unsubstantiated by his own admission. The only people who claim to have seen the unobtainable proof of this interaction occurring is an undisclosed girl and Max's own sister. Max has every reason to slander this person, as they are the vessel of the allegations being made against him. Ignoring Max's previously unknown history of lies, I'm still going to need to see more proof than my sister's friend told me this occurred. The reality is, Max's credibility alone carried this allegation. Now, yeah. it turns out that the guy who orchestrated the video might be a... Possibly. Right. Might be a 
yeah. yeah. We sent out. Where like, does it end? Where does the cycle end? <laughs> uh, like and Mac apparently, just, like, was so, this a White House interning with Obama or something? Like there was this whole weird arc in there. Yeah, because me and my girlfriend were like, we know Max, so it's like yeah. we just want to know this whole. Th- Thing. And you gotta imagine, like, if you're the guy running these things and you have a possible history. I mean, to be yeah. honest, like, looking at it from his perspective, Max is this guy who obviously has a chip on his shoulder and hates this dude, right? And he's making videos about catching. He's just scared that one of the videos will be about him. So he's trying well, to that, discredit so that, so Max first. Imagine God. that. Yeah. The projection. It's almost. It's. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, that's well, so fun. At best, it made people like myself second guess looking into these allegations those five girls made and Anthony published. At worst, people like Mudahar and his co host took Max's words, insinuated they could be valid off of no substantial evidence, and echoed them, effectively shutting down the story and further harming Anthony's reputation. I would like to personally apologize to Anthony for not looking further into Max back then. Maybe we could have salvaged this situation, and maybe we could have saved the current eight girls a lot of trouble. I am, however, proud that we could get Magnetar and Mudahar together, just to hash out their differences. It is worth noting that Camden Gerard Davis's alleged abuse victim Spencer, who's also Max's roommate and friend, who's also friends with Max's sister, who's also friends with Anthony's alleged victim, claims that Anthony dressed up like a student after graduating to eat lunch at school with freshman girls. Oh, and because this is Mama Max, of course, there's no evidence of that either. The dude apparently dressed up in a school uniform, snuck in multiple times, and not a single person snapped a picture of him. Nice. So this is what I'm saying. There's multiple things against Anthony Field. For me, I feel comfortable saying he is a uh, I don't feel he could do anything to me legally for saying that, because if he were to, the girl who, who made the testimony would come forward and testify so she him. has his dick pic and has timestamps of when it was sent. that that that's real that exists he does not have his dick pic so what does she have that she could come forward with just her me- just her memory but boy so you don't think um, that you could legally be held liable for the statements you're making if he were to sue you because you have someone who can come forward and tell you it happened well i am just documenting what she said no if you are calling him a p- file Correct. And to be able to successfully sue me for defamation, he would have to prove that I am lying, which I am not because the girl is real and she sent me those DMs. Now that this serious stuff is out of the way, does anyone remember the time that Mama Max tried to shill his beats to Anthony Fantano? Well, as it turns out, Mama Max made an entire song about how he wants files to perform oral sex on him. Initially, this segment was just going to be cut from my video, but... Then I got an idea. Hey buddy, did you hear the news? It's track reviews. Hey, hi, and hello everyone. Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you're doing well. The man, the myth, the rage legend. As everyone knows, he has a brand new LP coming out just around the corner. He is being a bit mysterious about its drop per usual, but we know it's close because he's putting out new and ace. Be free from even now, my music lead. I don't know how such evil scenes can be alone. Just the poll is out. How do you feel about the track? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let it be known in the poll. It's a little washed out, so it's difficult to say what exactly it is or how many pieces it's made of. All I know is with the beat, it makes for a pretty hypnotic combination. Sorry, one more interjection. I had to look this up because I remembered it and I I couldn't believe this was true, but Max actually reached out to me to ask if I wanted to be put in a group chat because he was dropping something that was going to make waves in the community. And it was fucking this. It was literally this song, like this diss track on Pios was going to blow the airwaves wide open. I'm done. It's at this point, one of the more uh, weird and eyebrow raising lines pop out on the entire track. Oh, no. Uh, Anthony Fantano. Name and Max. 
uh, forever. In conclusion, this video proves that Max Stryker is a complete and total fraud. His persona Mama Max is a freak who does not help children prosecute their abusers. He hunts predators online as a soldier of fortune. He lies about his accomplishments to bolster his credibility. He manipulates his audience of abuse survivors by not disclosing large portions of his content are completely fake. And he uses credibility he never deserved in the first place to silence and ruin other people's lives. Just look at how he treated Tommy C. The man was Max's first real persistent critic, and during the videos he was supposedly hunting predators, Max took time out of his day to create a QR code campaign about Tommy and talk about sexually dominating him. The stuff on screen right now is completely psychotic, and even more so with the information we now know about how fraudulent Max's activities have been. I mean, look at the comments. Look at what people said to Tommy, just because he spoke up and questioned the current narrative. Mom Mama Max does not deserve anyone's support. Mama Max does not deserve a second chance. This is not a community that can offer one. This is a malicious person who preys on his supporters. He is the predator to them. To the girls Max is helping fight against Camden Gerard Davis, you claim to have escaped one cult. Don't be foolish now and fall into another. And Mama Max, this part is me speaking directly to you. I know you, Max. I know how you operate. My friends and I know what you're about to say, so we we have to spell it out for you. Yo, John Swan, drop the bass. <clears throat> Though we are different, we are all the same. Because above all else, there's one thing that holds us together. We don't like P-words! Camden Gerard Davis is a child predator that has molested hundreds of children under the pretense of a vampire werewolf cult. It's absolutely crucial that we spread awareness of him. Camden Gerard Davis' time is up! He's about to be exposed! Camden Gerard Davis, you're going to jail! <laughs> there is a pedophile pretending to be a vampire. So if you come across Cameron Gerard Davis, be sure to contact Mama Max immediately in order to get this guy arrested for charity fraud. What the heck, Camden? What? Who are you? Someone in my chat was just talking about you. Thank you for the prize. Hashtag we are real. Hey Camden, Jared Davis. She may say it. Don't feel depressed just because you're a vampire werewolf and people are saying mean to you. The Leviathan will come for your enemies. Game page. Candom Gerard Davis is a stupid name and he gets no fucking bitches! You vampire piece of shit! We are real, Camden Gerard Davis. Whatever you may or may not have done, I'm not really sure. Camden Gerard Davis, those teeth are fake, they make you look stupid, and there, is there, there's no such thing as a black vampire. Then. Cameron. Gerard the Completionist. Where's the charity money? The Leviathans are coming for you. How's it going everyone? I'm here in my garage. I want to give a quick shout out to Cameron Pro Jared the Completionist. Shout out to you, my dude. The time for action is now. Mama Max needs our help. Camden Gerard Davis. Mama Max needs our help. Well, hello, Camden Gerard Davis. So I've been told to uh, roast you because you wear werewolf teeth and I guess you think that's cool and I've been told to tell you to stop making friends in Texas. I'm sure you would like to be on this beach with your werewolf teeth. <laughs> Cameron Gerard Davis, more like Cameron Gerard Gavis, am I right? Is that dude is cringe? Yeah, buh! Cameron Gerard Davis, the Leviathan is coming for you, whatever happens. I wasn't given much context. As a member of the Chinese Communist Party, Camden Gerard Davis, we are coming for you. Honestly, I have no fucking clue who Camden Gerard is, but I'm just happy to be included. Camden Gerard Davis, I am standing on your plot of land purchased from established titles, and I will be notifying Mama Max when you arrive. Beware, ladies and gentlemen, hiding in your local inner cities could be Camden Gerard Davis, who is not only a vampire pedophile, but a vampire werewolf hybrid pedophile. Not many people know that fact about him. Oh, well. See you. I'll see you, um, probably never again.
Hey, what's going on guys? While I was editing my video, I found out that Max tried to beat us out and post a really poorly edited video where he claims to be taking accountability. Shockingly, not much accountability was taken. The video was panned. He tried to launch a GoFundMe that was canceled by the time I woke up this morning. I think the only people who donated were a $5 donation that was anonymous and then Max himself. It's pretty clear he just tried to get out ahead of what was inevitably coming because there's not really much he can do to salvage this situation. And I mean, in the future, if I make a part two, I'll definitely go over it. But for now, I'm just going to leave you with the hemorrhaging subscribers he's losing on his main channel after posting it, and this absolutely hilarious ending that had to be scripted. I simply don't believe this happened naturally. Oh, and just a reminder, for people who think that you're not important, You've caught just as many predators as Max Stryker. Alright dude, that's it. The video's over. We're a pinball channel now. We're a pinball channel. We make pinball videos. We're a pinball channel. Hey guys, I missed everybody. Hello to all the new people too. I don't know if this video will get a thousand views or a hundred thousand views, but either way, Muda will get the word out too. It was cool to work on something like this with you, buddy, and uh, I'd like to now direct everyone to his coverage. That should launch simultaneously with my video. Also, while I'd like to make this all about me, guys like Tommy C kept this discussion brewing for two years, and despite being bombed by Max's fanatics, he just did not stand down. Chud Logic has been a great friend to me in the last year or so, and he's pushed me to make the content that I'm making now. I probably wouldn't be back without him keeping me entertained all this time. Check out his channel because he's been cranking out content on Max for weeks and it's really good. Queeman now recording, Lyrix, FPS Diesel, Turkey Tom, Xylee, everybody else who's either covered this already or dropping soon will be down below in the description. Also, I uh, plagiarized Carl Jobe's music and uh, I'm not sorry. Okay, I got one call out. Augie RFC, I'm back on YouTube. What's stopping you from doing something like this, you lazy mother <laughs> Hey guys, remember to like the video and stuff. Share it to friends too, even. Remember guys, harassment is bad and we don't condone it. Oh, by the way, playtime is over. Mommy Keffels wants to see you wiggle. Hey Mrs. Tip, can Kef Kef come over and play? I need the viewers, babe.